In this video, we will discuss about item analysis. Item analysis is a statistical technique which is used for selecting and rejecting the items of the test on the basis of their difficulty value and discriminating power. Purposes of item analysis is to select the best available items for the final form of the test. To identify structural or content defects in the items. To detect learning difficulties of the class as a whole. To identify the areas of weaknesses of students in need of remediation. To increase instructor skill in the test construction. To identify specific areas of course which need greater emphasis or clarity. Item analysis information can tell us about the three things that is item difficulty, item discrimination and destructor analysis. That is if an item that is the question was too easy or too difficult is item difficulty. How well it discriminated between high and low scorers on the test that is item discrimination and whether all the alternatives functioned as intended that is destructor analysis. Benefits of item analysis. It provides useful information for class discussion of the test. It provides data which helps students improve their learning. It provides insights and skills that lead to preparation of better test in the future. Limitations of item analysis. It cannot be used for essay items. Teacher must be cautious about what damage may be due to the table of specifications when items not meeting the criteria are deleted from the test. These items are to be rewritten or replaced. Difficulty value is calculated as the percentage of upper and lower 27% of students who answered the item correctly after being ordered their obtained score in descending order. The range is from 0% to 100% or more typically written as proportion as 0.0 to 1.00 that is p value. The higher the value the difficult the item. Now if p value is above 0.85 then the item is very easy item and should not be reused again for subsequent test. If almost all the students can get the item correct it is a concept of probably not worth testing. If p value below 0.20 then the item is very difficult and should be reviewed for possible confusing language removed from subsequent test and or highlighted for an area of reinstruction. If almost all the student get the item wrong there is either a problem with the item or student did not get the concept. Now the formula of difficulty index is p equal to ru plus rl by t where ru is the number in the upper group who answered the item correctly, rl the number in the lower group who answered the item correctly and t that is the number who tried the item. This is the any three sample questions of an achievement test. Suppose 75 students appeared in this achievement test. First we arrange the obtained scores of 75 students in descending order. Now we have to select a high scorer upper 27% student that is here 20 students and lower scorer 27% students that is here 20 students for item analysis. Suppose 16 student of the upper group and 5 student of the lower group answered the item number 1 correctly. So the total number of correct response is 21. We can easily find the difficulty index using the formula. And here we can get 0.525. In a similar way, we can find the total correct response for item number 2 is 10 and difficulty index is 0.25. And for item number 3, total number of correct response is 2 and difficulty index is 0.05. Interpretation of difficulty index. We can interpret the difficulty index following the difficulty index table as item number 1 is average so we can select it item number two is difficult we can also select it but item number three is very difficult so we have to reject it discrimination index describes the ability of an item to distinguish between high and low scorers that is scores of upper and lower 27 percent of students after being ordered in descending way the obtained score the range is 
from 0.0 to 1.00 the higher the value the more discriminating the item a high discriminating item indicates that the student who had high test score got the item correct where a student who had low test scores got the item incorrect item with discriminating value near or less than 0 should be removed from test this indicates that student who overall did poorly on the test did better on the item than student who overall did well the item may be confusing for your better scoring student in some way this is the discrimination index table Use item that have a high discriminating index value in the test that is those testing higher cognitive thinking abilities such as comprehension, application and problem solving. Formula to find discrimination index that is di equal to ru minus rl by half of t. ru the number in the upper group who answered the item correctly, rl the number in the lower group who answered the item correctly and t total number who tried the item. In continuation with the previous example, the difference of response for item number 1 is 11. We can find the discriminating index using the formula as for item number 1 is 0 0.55. In the same way, the difference of response for item number 2 is 4 and discriminating index is 0 0.20 and difference of response for item number 3 is 2 and discriminating index is 0 0.10. Interpretation of discriminating index. We can interpret the discriminating index following the discriminating index table as item number 1 is good item. So we can select it. Item number 2 is marginal item. So we can also select it. But item number 3 is poor item. So we have to reject it. Now we have to balance between difficulty index and discrimination index. So, in this purpose, we can follow the table as proposed by Hopkins and Entes. Final interpretation. Now, comparing it with the above table, we can conclude that item number 1 is moderate item and very good item. Hence, we can select it. Item number 2 is difficult and need to be revised. Item number 3 is very difficult and need to be discarded. Point by serial correlation is used to correlate item scores with the score of the whole test. A special case of Pearson product moment correlation where one variable is binary that is right versus wrong and the other is continuous that is total raw test score. The first step is to find the point by serial correlation is score the item as either right that is 1 or wrong that is 0. The second step is to use point by serial correlation formula and third step is to interpret. This is the formula of the point by serial correlation. A negative point by serial correlation means that the student who did well on the test missed that item while those students who did poorly on the test got the item right. This item should be rewritten. Sensitivity to instructional effects. Sometimes we measure effectiveness of our instructional material. This table showing that three items of the same achievement test was answered by the same five student before instruction and after instruction. Here plus means correct response and minus means incorrect response. The formula to find the instructional effectiveness is S equal to RA minus RB by T, where RA is the number of pupils who got the item right after instruction, RB is the number of pupils who got the item right before instruction and T the number of pupils who tried the item both. The ideal value is S equal to 1. Effective item fall between 0 to 1. The higher the positive value, the more sensitive the item is to instructional effect. Item with 0 and negative values do not reflect the intended effect of instruction. If you observe the table, you can find that for item number 1, the total correct response after instruction is 5 and total correct response before instruction is 0. So the instructional effectiveness is S equal to 5 minus 0 by 5 that is 1. So teaching instruction is effective for item number 1. If you observe the table for item number 2, you can find that total number of correct response after instruction is 5 and total number of correct response before instruction is 2. So the Sensitivity of instructional effectiveness is S equal to 0.6. So teaching instruction is effective for item number 2.
In the same way, for item number 3, total number of correct response after instruction is 2 and total number of correct response before instruction is also 2. So here, s equal to 0. So teaching instruction is not effective for item number 3. Now try this. Construct an achievement test and apply it. Collect data, prepare an Excel spreadsheet and analyze the data to calculate the difficulty index and discrimination index following the guidelines of item analysis.